hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ada ada beauty arena if this is your first time on this channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back thank you guys for watching my video thank you for your love i really appreciate you guys thank you so much if you're new to my channel my name is ada i'm a makeup artist based in chicago and i make videos like this showing you guys makeup process transformation videos and everything beauty please guys ignore my son in the background you know kids they just want to play yes yeah, so just ignore him thank you guys guys i would really appreciate you subscribing to my channel it would mean so much to me let's get this channel to 1000 subscriber i would really appreciate you doing that for me thank you so much so I'm just showing you guys basically the process of um, her makeup. She has a beautiful skin, I must say. So I'm just showing you guys um, the whole process. So enjoy the video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And you can share my video, share with your friends. Somebody might learn something from this video. So I'm just blending in... Uh, highlight and contour with a beauty sponge and I'm setting her on the eye if you have a question leave it in the comment section and the list of everything I use of all the makeup products I use will be in the description box so always check the description box guys and I'm sweeping out the excess border underneath her eyes. And I'm applying extra powder for uh, extra translucent powder to make a, to bake her under eye and catch out the eyeshadow fallout. And I'm drawing her brows right now and I'm using the ABH brow pomade. I have a full, a detailed brow tutorial on my channel. You could check it out. So pretty much it's the same thing. Just use whatever works for you. A brow pencil or a brow pomade is pretty much the same thing. So I'm just filling in the brows with the brow pomade. With makeup, you have to be patient. You can't be in a hurry. You can't be in a hurry and get a neat work. So I'm just doing the other side. So I'm just trying to get her brows right using the brow brush. If you like this video, please hit the like button.
so i'm brushing the brow out with a spoolie just to um smoothing everything i'm cleaning the brow now with a concealer just blending out the concealer I'm brushing out the concealer with a buffer brush and I'm doing the same thing on the other side with makeup whatever you do on one side you do on the other side so I'm just blending out the concealer with a concealer brush And now I'm prepping an eye for eyeshadow and I'm using the P. Louise base. So it is advised to use a, an eyeshadow base for your, um, for your lid before going in with the eyeshadow. It's just going to make your eyeshadow game, it's just going to take your eyeshadow game to the next level. Trust me, your eyeshadow will last longer and the colors are going to pop. If you are using a blue, the blue will show that it's blue, not... Um, a pale blue so it is good to use a nice shadow base and I recommend the P. Louis base it is very good so I'm just blending that in Blending is key, guys. You have to blend. Blending it. So I'm using the transition color now. It's just like a, dark, a light brown color. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. So sorry, guys. Ignore my son in the background. Kids just want to play. So I'm going in with the eye troll eyeshadow color. I'm just packing that on a high leaf. I'm using the fluffy brush, just blending it. So it's a matte eyeshadow color. There is no shimmer to it, it's just matte. So using a fluffy brush like this is perfect. And I'm going over eyeshadow with a mascara. So two things, two reasons why you need to use a mascara before going, before applying your false lashes, it cleans off the um, eyeshadow fallout on the lashes, and it preps your, just like a base for your eye for your lashes, for your falses to sit on. So two things why you need to, two reasons why you need to apply a mascara just to clean up the eyeshadow fallout and a base for your lashes to sit on so it's important to use a mascara
I'm going over a waterline with a dark pencil. Now I'm lining the leaves with a dark brown color. If you've been watching my video, you notice I always apply my lipsticks with or my lip stain with the brush. For hygiene purposes, it's good to use a brush when working with more than one person. You don't just apply the actual lipstick on the person's lips. It's good you use a brush because I wash my brush regularly and I sanitize it and so it's more hygienic to use a brush other than applying it directly on the person but if you are doing if you're applying a lipstick for just yourself it's okay to go directly on your lips because it's just for you Uh, I already pop. I already put uh, put our lashes. I think I lost that clip. So now I'm just applying a loose highlighter on the bridge of her nose on her tear dot, and it's a Juvia's Place highlighter. Just applying the on places I want to highlight, and I'm using a a brush. I'm applying some on her cheekbone right now. I'm just applying a red lipstick over the brown for it to pop better. So I'm just going over with the same lip brush and blending the red lipstick on the lips, just blending everything out. And I'm cleaning the sides of our lips with a concealer. It just makes the lips look very neat. You don't have to do this part, but I just, I love to do it. It just makes my work look neat. And I'm setting her face with the setting mist. The setting spray, the Morphe setting spray is very good. It just brings your look together. And that is the final look, guys. She's feeling her makeup. She loves her makeup. I love how it came how the makeup came out. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Please, guys, like, share, and subscribe. It will mean so much to me. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.